Hey guys, what's up? Nikki once again. Today, we're going to be talking about why I feel Twisted Metal deserves to have a major comeback. So let's get right into it. So as you all know, or maybe you didn't know, sadly, Twisted Metal was not mentioned once again at the previous PlayStation State of Play. If I'm being honest though, I really didn't have all that much expectation going into the state of play and hoping that something Twisted Metal was going to be shown, but it is still always a bummer when nothing gets said. Not only that, but we recently had a gigantic successful launch uh, from PlayStation called Astrobot, which was a game essentially all about PlayStation IPs and showing homage to all of the fan favorite PlayStation icons over the years. Over a hundred different characters and IPs and all this stuff showed up in the game, Again, to show homage to those favorite characters and games we played growing up. And what game was completely omitted from Astrobot, you may ask? Yes, it was Twisted Metal. I know some people made some assumptions, well, maybe it's because it's a mature rated series, or it's just too gory, or whatever, and they didn't want to put it in a kid's game. But I mean, they had Metal Gear Solid and other mature rated games in there as references, so in my opinion, you can't really use that as an excuse. And of course, from time to time, we've been getting hints online from Twitter and Reddit and all around from different people, some people within Sony and some people just being random and saying they have inside sources, saying that Twisted Metal is coming. It is being worked on still, even though it was said that it was canceled a few months ago, back in like February, I want to say. And it still gives us that copium that we all need to stay alive as Twisted Metal fans and hope that a new game is in the works. But as of right now, there really isn't any definitive proof or anything from Sony stating, yes, we are working on a game. All we've gotten is the TV show. And don't get me wrong, the TV show is awesome. I love season one. I have a full review of my channel if you haven't checked it out. And I, of course, will be reviewing season two when that drops. But it's just one of those things where like a TV show is great, but it's not a new video game. This is a video game series and we want a new game to play. I don't understand what's so hard to understand from that from Sony. But with that being said, I wrote down five different things as to why I feel Twisted Metal truly deserves a comeback in 2024, going into 2025. My first point is that it's PlayStation's longest running first party series. It is almost 30 years old. It's exactly the same age as I am, which is crazy to think about. It launched in 1995, we're about to hit 2025. So 30 years ago, Twisted Metal hit store shelves and it was a success right out of the gate and it's been pretty much around the PlayStation brand ever since. Yes, we haven't gotten a new game since 2012 though, and that is a huge bummer. And that's another reason why I just don't understand why we haven't gotten anything, not one inkling of a hint that they are working on a new game. I get it that Sony likes to keep things a surprise and they wanna show up with this new game when we've lost all hope of it ever happening to get the biggest amount of applause, but honestly, you're starting just to lose fans in general, and it's going to get to the point where if a new game does happen out of the blue, no one's really going to be excited for it anymore, and all the diehard fans who were excited for something to be made fall off, or they just give up hope entirely, and now they're just kind of pissed off, and they're just kind of, okay, well, too little, too late, you know, it's just a bummer. But I don't think I'm ever going to get to that point, because I'm just a diehard fan, and I always have been since day one, so it's just one of those things that it does hurt my soul not getting any type of inclination that there's something going on. But I still have that copium that there might be. And the fact that this is Sony's longest running first party series, that can't be something that they're ignoring. That just can't be something that they're putting and sweeping under the rug. It just, to me, doesn't make any sense why this is the one series that they just deliberately go out of their way to ignore and never mention ever. If anything, why not just sell the series to someone who would give a shit about it and actually make new games? For me, it just feels like Sony is being completely incompetent with some of their IPs. And we've seen as of recent, they've been making these comments that they don't have enough original IPs. And they just keep making these remakes and remasters of these games that, yes, they were successful when they came out, but they're not old enough to the point where they need a remaster or a remake on a new PS5 Pro. It just doesn't make any sense to put the money towards that. And we're not even going to get into the whole Concord situation. You know what happened there. They lost $400 million supposedly on that game and that was a total flop and they gave up after 12 days. It's insane. So it just to me, it feels like why not put the money into a first party IP that already has a following that you know will make money regardless. If it's technically a commercial failure, at least it would make your money back from the people who have already been established fans. Because let's face it, there is 
got to be over a million people out there who've heard of Twisted Metal or who at least would check it out if a new game were to launch. And at number two, Twisted Metal is by definition a battle royale game. I know some people might disagree with that, but especially if you look at the multiplayer section of Twisted Metal, it's essentially a battle arena that you fight to the death to be the last one, the last victor alive. And that is, in its essence, a battle royale. Now, obviously, there's been a lot of changes to that formula over time with Fortnite and PUBG and stuff like that. And all of them have this essential giant map that slowly gets smaller over time to bring the final battles together and fight to the death in this small little area. And the only time you've ever seen that in Twisted Metal was on Antarctica in TM2, which still is super cool to me that they even did that and they technically created that formula back in 1997. But that being said, it's one of those things where BRs are still talked about to this day. Fortnite hit its peak in like 2019, but the fact that it's still being played and still winning awards and still making money in 2024 is astonishing. And that tells me there is a market for Twisted Metal. There is a market for a brand new BR to come out and be successful. If anything, it could kind of bring a resurgence to BRs in general if Twisted Metal was to come out in 2024, and if it was good enough to make it addicting enough for people to come back time and time again. And I think the fact that it is different, it's a car combat game and not on foot first person shooter, I think that would be different enough to bring more players to the game and at least give it a try versus sticking with Fortnite that they've been playing since 2019. Moving on to number three, multiplayer has always been Twisted Metal's strong suit, and multiplayer-focused games are making a ton of profits in 2024. Yes, we still do get some pretty good single-player experiences here and there, like with God of War, but for the most part, most games coming out these days are free-to-play, or they are early access multiplayer focus games because they can throw battle passes and microtransactions and all this stuff in there to keep profit flowing. So in my opinion, if they are to make a new Twisted Metal and if it is to be successful, it's going to have some type of multiplayer component in order to stay alive. And I know Sony will not invest in a just a single player component. There is going to be multiplayer in some way, shape or form. And multiplayer, again, has always been the best part of Twisted Metal. Whether you played it split screen with your older brother, or you've played it online with Twisted Metal Black or 2012 and had a very good time with it. I think that it could be a successful game, especially in 2024, whether they made it a battle royale setting with a giant map getting smaller over time with a ton of characters, or if they brought back the old school formula of just deathmatch inside different arenas, I think it would hold up pretty well against other multiplayer games to this day. And I know people will make the argument, oh, I don't want microtransactions in Twisted Metal, I don't want a battle pass. I'm sorry to say, but there's really no way to get away from that. There's no way that they're not going to do that. And it's one of those things like, yeah, you can't really ignore it. It's in your face, it's there. But the fact of the matter is, you don't have to pay money to play these games. Most of the time, obviously, this might not be a free-to-play title, but I think they could get away with that. And I think it would be the smartest move from Sony if they were able to make it a free-to-play version, or at least the multiplayer be free-to-play and then the single player be a pay-to-play situation. But needless to say, I think as long as all that stuff is cosmetic and doesn't affect the gameplay in any way, shape, or form, I am totally fine with microtransactions, as long as they stay cosmetic. As soon as you put vehicles or certain characters behind a paywall, then I'm going to be angry. And coming in at number four, Twisted Metal has a ton of lore and interesting concepts that could be fleshed out in a proper single player experience. And I think this would be a really good way to please all the PlayStation fans who just crave that good single player experience that they've kind of grown to love with The Last of Us and Horizon and God of War. And there really is a lot of lore to choose from in the Twisted Metal world. Obviously, every game kind of feels like its own experience and its own universe, if you will. So there's a lot of things you can kind of cherry pick from and bring back and just expand upon in a brand new single player experience to give what new and old fans would love and crave. So for instance, you could go more into Calypso's background and figure out how did he get these powers? How did he become who he is today? Why is he so maniacal? Why is he so evil? Yes, of course, we've gotten bits and pieces of this over time and we know the lore as fans. But this is for somebody who's brand new to the series, they would get a very fresh look at it, and they wouldn't have to go through finding all this lore online, or through old comic book strips of the Twisted Metal 2 comic. Stuff like that. Same with you could bring back the situation with Marcus and Needles being the same character in their own mind, or is it all in Sweet Tooth's head 
Kind of like what they did in Twist Metal Black. I, I just think there's a ton of lore and a ton of different things you can mess around with. And of course, we have hundreds of characters at this point to choose from to bring back into a new game. And they could also make new characters from scratch and all that good stuff. So yeah, there is a lot to play with when you have eight different games to choose from to go and look back at and get ideas for. That would make a brand new game just explode with the amount of content at its fingertips. And at number five, the final reason here is that season two of the television show could drive more sales towards a new game. Since the first season was a very much a big success and season two is shaping up to be bigger and better than the first. Obviously, it's not out yet, so I can't officially say yes, it is better. But if I was a betting man, I'd probably say season two is going to kick ass and it's going to be bigger and better than the first because they got a bigger budget. They got more actors and it's more leaning towards the actual tournament that we've come to know and love with Twisted Metal, so I'm super excited to say the least. And you can't deny that the first season actually brought a lot of people to the name Twisted Metal for the very first time. So if you dropped a game alongside the new season, that would be kind of a no-brainer for me because people could boot up their PS5, watch the season two right on Peacock right there easily, and then when they leave the show, they can see, oh, I can check out a demo of Twisted Metal, the video game or download it if it is a free to play title. And you know, it's just for me anyway, it makes a lot of sense to release both at the same time instead of releasing the season two, for instance, now, and then all of a sudden three years later, we get a game. It just doesn't make much sense to separate it that much, but who knows? Maybe they're waiting for the success of season two before finally biting the bullet and putting a new game out there. I have no idea what's on their minds. At this point, Sony is kind of imploding on itself and they're really just doing a lot of dumb things that don't make a whole lot of sense. And it's really making the diest of hard PlayStation fans like myself kind of fall off from Sony. And it's a bummer, it really is. I, I really cannot wait to see what season two is gonna bring, but I also just really want a new game. I just, I wanna play something new, man. Obviously we have the classics, we can keep coming back to them and they're amazing, but over time they do get old and I wanna try something new. And of course, being able to play multiplayer of Twisted Metal in 2024 it, it would just be awesome with brand new servers and dedicated servers and being able to play with all my friends. It would be amazing, especially if they brought it to PC as well as PS5 so people wouldn't have to go out and buy new consoles. I don't think Sony would do that, but you never know. The last little tidbit as well is with a brand new game, they could even be looking at tying the game in with the TV show with, with its own plot and, it's, and bring the characters from the TV show into the game, maybe bring those actors and make them be voice actors for the characters. That definitely could be on their mind to, again, kind of release them hand in hand and make these new people, these new fans of the TV show, not feel so taken back or confused by jumping into a brand new game that they've never heard of. Obviously for us, the old fans, it might be a little bit of whiplash and might not fit entirely because I, I know you guys would love to see a lot of returning favorites of characters from the original games. And maybe you want to bring back those original designs and stuff like that, but I don't know. As long as we get something new in the Twist Metal world for gaming, I am going to be happy. And I just hope that you guys are on the same boat. So with that, let me know in the comment section below what you think of a new Twisted Metal. And do you think that it would survive releasing in 2024 or 2025? And yeah, just what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, share, your support. As always, subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And we'll hopefully see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody.